Hello there! We're about to go into Epcot. It is Logan's first time at a Disney park. So it's very exciting. Okay, so we just went through the uh, security check. That was a little confusing if you were doing it the first time. And we got our passport for Flower and Garden. And this guy is excited. You're so excited? Yeah, let's do this. Okay, so since we came through the side entrance, we are gonna start with France. Logan, you're already going to France. Our first Flower and Garden booth. In France, it's Fleur de Lis. And I actually tried this uh, in a previous year. It was pretty good. Well, we were trying to get the beignet, but they're out. So, first stop was a miss. <laughs> so check back later, but... Yeah. They have La Vie en Rose, Frozen Slushy. Which is kind of like the orange one that I normally get, but I've gotten this one before. And I gotta say, the orange is still my favorite. So, it's always been tradition for me to get an orange Lush when I come to Epcot. And I'm not about to start breaking with tradition. Alright, he finally went down for a nap. He needed one. He was an hour late for nap. This guy was our hero. He put him to sleep. We're enjoying our orange lush stationery. Tradition. So now that he's enjoying a nap on this fabulous day. So now we have to hustle up and sample some foods and drinks. Yeah, normally he sleeps for an hour, but we'll see. Because he's way too excited. Yeah. Now, here's a tip. Check your stuff before you leave the hotel. We forgot a very, very important item. We left the baby carrier. It's a problem. Good thing that we're staying at a boardwalk hotel. Yeah, at least we're close. Oh, <gasps> my drink. You know what, I must say, it wasn't that good today. Or maybe my taste changed. Could be. It's been a year and a half. Indeed, too long. And right by France, between France and Morocco, you have La Isla Fresca. You have lamb curry, sugarcane shrimp, tropical mousse cup, a tropical freeze, something I can't pronounce, Ivanhoe, Hard Brewing Company something beer, and another tropical freeze, that one is alcoholic with parabé. Uh, it looks pretty good, but this is, this is basically what I have uh, every day. Not every day, but I have that a lot. Not lamb, but like rice and beans and uh, sweet plantains. I have that a lot because I'm from the islands. So no one makes it better than my grandmother. I don't think I'm going to be trying it here. I stick to my grandma's cooking. And here we are in the UK. We have the topiaries of rabbit, Winnie the Pooh bear, Tigger, there's Eeyore, and Piglet. Time to check out the festival offerings. I'm excited to get a little bit of balloon just like that one because that was my first balloon when I first came to Disney. Which one? The heart shaped one. Oh, but yours was Minnie Mouse. It's Mickey on the other side. Oh, okay. It's both Mickey and Minnie. Cool. Well, something smells good. I think we're headed in the right direction. Well, it's a lot bigger than I imagined. I've been here for the pin uh, events. I don't think I've ever come here. Jeez. I had no idea this was hiding over here. You don't know? Now you know. So here we have the farmer's feast. They have spring onion soup, duck confetti of the beet and path. Haha. <laughs> and uh, some drinks, some ale, and some lemonade cocktail. Now I can tell you which ones are new. This the spring onion soup is new. And also the of the beet and path. Um, it doesn't say so here, but there you have it. I'm helping you out if you want to know what's new in this year's festival. Spring onion soup actually looks kind of good. You know, uh, with these masks, I feel like onion soup though is not a good idea because we're going to be smelling like our own onion bread <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> not going to have it. And here they also have the cider house. They have a uh, made potato, house made potato and cheddar biscuit, some dark chocolate raspberry tart, some hard cider, and more drinks, including a cider flight. Got the potato and cheddar biscuit and a raspberry tart. That looks pretty good. And some lager. <laughs> That's all you. I already have my orange flush. Forgot to mention this has some salmon tartare. Salmon tartar. <laughs> <laughs> you good. choked on it. I 
promise it's pretty good. Thumbs up for that? Yeah, I'm not a huge salmon fan, but I'll go back. All right, let's give it a shot. David says it's good, but he choked on it. I don't know if that's a good sign. It is really good. It does taste fishy, so if you don't like fish, well, probably you shouldn't get the salmon to begin with. That's good. All right, let's hope you don't choke on that. Let's not choke on the turtle. <laughs> that's good. How do you put a mask that looks decent? You don't. It tastes exactly like you would think it would. Like chocolate mousse with raspberry. It's not very tart. Oh, yeah, it's like mousse and raspberry. But, but it's pretty good. I like it. Because like it's it. not overly sweet, so I like that. Okay, so here we have festival favorites. Watermelon salad, some beef brisket, some fried green tomatoes. Oh my goodness, I really like that. I tried the fried green tomatoes the last year we were here and I really like that. And they have a frozen lemonade that's non-alcoholic, some beers or something, and a key lime tart. Hmm. We got the fried green tomato and the... Beef brisket burnt beef. at both ends. Okay. So last time I had the fried green tomato, it was in Italy. But now, these at least, they come with blue crab fennel salad and some paprika oil so they're a little bit spicy they're spicier than the ones i tried but they're still pretty good beef brisket burns at both ends with pork belly and chorizo is awesome and garlic sausage oh i thought it was chorizo. well hello and welcome to the taste of Epcot international flower and garlic festival my name is carol hello hmm. i guess we're gonna play some piano Hi, everybody. somebody was tired of the stroller he wanted to come out and look at things. All right, mine was good, but I gotta say I like them better when I had them in Italy. This, I don't know, I don't eat pork, so you'll have to tell us about it. Well, besides the terrible pickle that I ate, it's a good thing that that was on top. It was easy to pick up. And then you get down to the sausage, which was really nice, garlicky, and the pork was a bit smoked, pulled pork. It was very tasty. She's playing Moon River. I love that song. It was a special song in our relationship. It's actually starting to get pretty crowded now. Lots of people coming in. It's past two, so maybe people are park hopping. And yes, we are walking backwards because as I said, we forgot the baby carrier. So we're going back to the hotel to grab it. And we've actually decided since we're doing a, a little break to get the uh, like baby carrier to do the Skyliner. I think Logan's really gonna like that. If he could actually see. <laughs> Yay! Oh boy. Logan's uh -oh. first ride. Oh no, he lost the song. Yeah. Yeah, that's gone. So Logan's first ride is officially the Skyliner. Let's get this hat off, buddy. You don't have any sun here, so you can see everything. Yay! Isn't this fun, you man? Here we go, Logan. Ready? Welcome aboard the Disney Skyliner. This is Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. Can't wait for that to open. He's so entertained that we're not getting out. We're gonna stay put. Okay. And keep on Yee. flying through the air. Yee, Logan. It's so exciting. Oh, we're locked in Here now. Here we go. Here, Here we, we go. go again. Ready for takeoff. Yee. Sunny face. <laughs> Logan, is this, is this an exciting ride? What do you think? I just want to look at everything. Everything is interesting, mother. So don't don't bother me with questions. We are right now on. sailing over Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. Logan, how cool is this? We got the Haunted Mansion car. We're in our own high-flying doom buggy. Ah! Yeah. See the grim 
bringing ghosts. That's one hitchhiking ghost. It's hard to see, but maybe it's possible. And here's Madame Leota behind you, just watching you. Right here, on your neck. Get out of here, lady. Wow, this one's pretty windy. Great. Yeah. They should have made these bottoms clear. That would have been really scary, though. <laughs> Yeah, I can see you're giving a lot of people anxiety. Logan! Gee! Mm -hmm. Are you having fun? So much fun. He's having fun. Uh oh, Logan! We're going in hot! Oh no! Coming we're in hot, crash. buddy! We're gonna crash! Whoa! Oh, no. <laughs> we made it! Woo! Oh, we survived! Here we are. The pool is looking pretty amazing. Um, little break to go get the baby carrier. We are amateur Disney parents still, so we left the carrier. That won't happen again. We're learning, We're learning but uh, I mean it works out because that way I can feed him. All right, round two. We are back. back. This guy's finally napping. Can hang. <laughs> Yet. And uh, yeah, we don't have a lot of time now, so we better get to it. There are a couple things I really want to try. Yeah. And uh, once he wakes up, maybe we could go on a spaceship bar. All right, so they told us now they do have the beignet, so we're gonna try that. Those are new this year. These two are new this year, uh, I believe. The beignets and the uh, gnocchi. There is a good line now, I guess, because this is a great time to come here. And now they have the beignets. Pretty cool. Ratatouille, opening 2021. 2021. That's this year, in case you don't know what year it is. All right, here's the beignet. The famous beignets that they were out of all day. But they Ready for a bite? Yeah. Late in the day. A good beignet. Yeah. And you should know about beignets. It's a little different, but it's good. I mean, it's basically a donut, but <laughs> it has some nice icing on the inside and what looks like a little bit of creme brulee up top. Really? Fun. Seems like it, right? Yeah. Want a bite? Yes, please. Yum. It does taste more like a donut, but I like this caramel thing. Oh, great. It's pretty yummy. All right, we are leaving France and coming up on La Isla Fresca, which uh, I already showed you earlier. So we're going to continue walking towards Morocco. So here in Morocco, they have the taste of Marrakesh and everything here is new. The seafood couscous, the shakshuka, and the lemon magdalena cake. I don't know if it tastes good, but it looks really cute. And right here in Japan, they have the hanami. I think the frushi, they had some previous year and people seem to like that. But this year they have the shrimp and crab. That's new and i'm gonna get that want to try it hey that's a cool dinosaur bib yeah this is the shrimp and crab this is the pork shank all right and that's the logan that's the baby okay i don't eat pork so that's all you that's the insomniac some, over there yeah i'll have some shrimp and crab and this comes with spicy mayo and avocado and violet sauce whatever that is it's good. You do taste the spicy mayo. It's a little bit spicy, but it's pretty good. And I suppose it's pretty healthy. How's your pork? Pork shank is nice. Mashed potatoes are good. I mean, the pork, it's uh, pretty tender, a little smoky. It's got a little bit of tang. I'm not a fan of onions, so I just scrape those off. The mashed potatoes are good, soft, creamy. How's the shrimp and crab? I taste more crab than shrimp. Yeah. But I agree with your assessment. It's a good mixture of both, but uh, with a lot of spicy mayo. I like spice, so I mean, it's not that spicy on my spicy scale. For me, it's just a little bit spicy. Like, it's got, it's got good flavor. I would get it again. Yeah, I would get this again too. That's the way I gauge and measure things is would I get it again? Yes or no? This is a yes. Pretty good. What do you think about it?
Here we are at the American Pavilion and they have the Magnolia Terrace. And the thing that's new this year is the crawfish etouffee. Oh my goodness, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly at all. Everything else apparently has been here in previous years. The Cajun style roasted oysters look pretty good. But I need a break, a break from food. Let's walk around some more. Logan's first visit to Italy. And here in Italy, you have the Primavera Kitchen. Here is the menu. And from here, I don't believe there's anything new this year. These have been uh, here in previous years. Um, margarita pizza looks good, but I mean, that's something you could get anywhere, so. I'm not gonna get it. I have gotten the Arancini before. They were pretty good. Hey, buddy. Nobody's offering any baby menu here. A little bit of applesauce for the baby. Baby, da, da, da. And we are getting to Germany. Logan's gonna do a circle around Germany because he loves colors. And Germany's very colorful. And in Germany, they have the uh, barn market, something like that. So here's the menu, and I don't believe there's anything new here this year, but I may be wrong. I'm not 100% sure about this one. And we are coming up on the Lotus House in China. Here's the menu at the Lotus House and the Papa Cakes are actually new this year. They are potato cakes with shrimp, water chestnuts served with house-made strawberry sauce. That looks pretty good actually. I was thinking of getting those potato cakes, the Papa Cakes, but look at this line. They only have one person taking orders. It's a very long line. I don't feel like standing in there forever. So we can move it along to Norway. It's a long line for Frozen too. Not Frozen too, but Frozen also. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it is very crowded now. I keep bumping into people. Hola, this de Mexico. Very high crowds, as you can see. So we're getting out of the world showcase. Like it is time. Pre-pandemic level too. Yeah, I know. This is exactly how it would be on a regular pre-pandemic day. And here is the menu for the Jardín de Fiestas. You can't see it very well because that menu is all the way back there. They decided to put it behind the line. But, uh, well, here it is. And I believe there is nothing new here this year. This has all been here in past years. Here is the trowel and trellis. And that is right after he passed Mexico. I actually really wanted the uh, corn on the cob here, but my husband will not share with me, so I'm not gonna have it by myself. So except for the corn, everything else is new this year. The sausage and kale soup, the boneless impossible Korean shore rib, and the lavender pot de creme. This is all plant-based, by the way. You know, because it says made without animal meat, dairy, eggs, and honey. And you have the little sign right here, this sign. Here's the pineapple promenade right by the entrance of World Showcase. And I don't believe I have uh, anything new this year. When I say anything new, I mean like in terms of food. I'm sure the drinks, they may, they may have some new things, I don't know. But they do have the Dole Whip here, which is pretty cool. However, they don't have the swirl, and I'm a fan of the swirl. The whole pineapple is a little too citrusy for me. I did have the Dole Whip with coconut, uh, Parabay coconut rum on a previous year, and that was pretty good. I guess because the coconut added a little some, something extra to the pineapple. Pretty good stuff, but yeah, nice to have a Dole Whip here at, at Epcot. The lines are pretty crazy at this time too, by the way. Here is the Citrus Blossom. The uh, Pork Belly is new this year. And they have that uh, uh, orange lemon smoothie. This is where you get the orange bird zipper cup. Here's the menu with the pictures for the Citrus Blossom. And as I mentioned, the Pork Belly is the one food item new this year. And there's the Sippy Cup. 
and almost done we've done a full circle because well I went all the way to the UK before here is Canada they have the northern bloom nothing new here this year either they have scallops beef tenderloin tips and a griddle maple pound cake it all looks pretty good I would have the scallops but seven dollars for that <laughs> It's a bit much. And here's this handsome baby. He just had four little bottles of milk. So he's gonna have to burp. Well, I'm told here at the Honey Bistro that the first two are brand new. The Tupelo Honey Sweet Corn Spoon Bread. I lived in Tupelo for some time. That's in Mississippi. Birthplace of Elvis Presley, by the way. Fun fact. And then there's the Lavender Honey Mustard Marinated Chicken Flatbread. And the rest of it is a return from past years. That's where you get the honey peach free sippy cup. The honey and sweet corn bread looks pretty good, but it has jalapenos. So no. Jalapenos! The chicken flatbread looks pretty good too. Yeah, it does. Yeah, this we had uh, the last time we were here. The honey <laughs> Mars <Marcy> Pants. <laughs> that was that. That sound. <laughs> it just shook the universe, came out of that. And he's proud. <laughs> proud of that burp. <laughs> okay, and we found the flavorful kitchen. They have grilled baby vegetables and some salmon and strawberry mousse. The strawberry mousse looks pretty cute. I bet kids would love that. So there you have that. And it's officially nighttime now. It's about to be 7 p.m. I think and yeah we gotta get out of the world showcase. It is a madhouse back there right now. There must be like 10 million people. Lots of people. I don't think there's 10 million but there's quite a few. Well I didn't count them but at least it's a lot. 9.5 million. Here's my boy Pluto. Alright so we just got to test track. Well test track is back there. And we have the sunshine griddle right here. I believe this is new this year, this whole booth. But the shrimp and grits is not. And I've actually had that before. It was really good, but everything else is new. The fried cinnamon, the corned beef, hash, and the avocado toast. I'm gonna get a couple things here. Oh, and look at this, Fruit Loops shake. And one very long line. All right, so that line was really long. But we finally, we got pretty much everything on the menu. Uh, what were these again? Something cinnamon? Cinnamon roll something. Cin cinnamon roll something. Then there's the uh, avocado toast, shrimp and grits. You know, I had shrimp and grits, but these look a little different. Fried cinnamon roll bites. Fried cinnamon roll bites. And then what is this? This is Joffrey's coffee with Kahlua. How is it? This is so pretty, you almost don't want to eat it. I've been having uh, some shrimp and grits. It's a little spicy. Seems like everything I've had today is spicy, but pretty good. I really like it. And yeah, it's pretty good. And I'm only like halfway done and finally there's a, a legit good portion. Because most of the time... Yeah. Most of the time you're paying like $9 for two bites, but... This is a really good one. And the shrimps are huge. Let's see how these cinnamon, fried cinnamon bites turn out. It's pretty good. So it's got some caramelized stuff on the inside. Some uh, cinnamon sugary mix on the outside and a little bit of ice. I'd say it's a winner. I had two bites of the cinnamon roll and I'm done. <laughs> it, it is pretty sweet. I mean, it's good, but it's sweet. I can't imagine eating three of them. See that up top? I like that they put bacon bits on top. Yeah. I've been having the avocado toast because my husband doesn't like avocado. I do. It's pretty good, but you do taste a lot of the goat cheese. The avocado tastes pretty fresh and there are pretty good chunks. So you do get a quite a bit of avocado, which I love. We just realized that Logan stole Yvette's passport for the festival and eh, not in too terrible of shape, but definitely 
a page or two missing. <laughs> he doesn't feel any shame either. Do you? <laughs> Before the park closes, we are going to Spaceship Earth. So I asked on my Instagram to uh, tell me which one should be Logan's first ride. And with like 50 something percent, you guys said Spaceship Earth. So this guy's first ride is gonna be Spaceship Earth. Yay, buddy. Yay. Before they close it down for refurbishment. Who's going on their first ride at Disney World ever? Logan. Official ride. First official ride. He's very interested in everything so far. All the colors. All the stimulations. We're here. Go ahead, Logan. Why don't you choose? All right, we'll, we'll choose the language. You can choose everything else. Okay, we're just getting out of Epcot through the side entrance because we are staying at the Yacht Club. Oh boy, look at the line for, for the Skyliner right now. No thanks. Well, I guess to tell you, it's a very convenient mode of transportation. It is, and I'm sure the line moves fairly fast. Yeah. You could kind of see the end of the line over there, and yep, it goes all the way to the Beach Club. Doesn't make it to the Yacht Club, but it does go to the Beach Club. That's crazy. Anyway, we are out of Epcot. It was a fun day for him. He loved Spaceship Earth. Well, you saw. He was a big fan. Yeah, he loved that. He was like dancing <laughs> pretty much the whole time. Yeah, we went all the way back to the room to get the carrier. We ended up not using the carrier, by the <laughs> way. <laughs> I wasn't gonna say anything. <laughs> well, it's kind of funny. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That was a big time suck for nothing. That's true. But I mean, we did get to ride the Skyliner and that was fun. But anyway, it has been fun. We're just gonna walk around the boardwalk now because it's not even nine o'clock yet. We're not gonna be going to bed. Around and he's asleep. Boardwalk. If you've been here, let me know what was your favorite food or your favorite foods here at the Flower and Garden. Flower Garden. Flower Garden. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Uh, we'll see you on the next one. In the meantime, as always, take care, be good. Ciao. See you real soon. More Disney, more dogs.